So we have a website which is a Kausei as a service. We can make a request to this URL to Kausei our message. If you do not know what Kausei is, Kausei is a very famous CLI tool. So if you type Kausei and in double quotation your message, a cow will say your message. So this is the web version of this. So if I copy the URL in a new tab, paste the URL, I can see the cow is saying my message. We can type any message here. Suppose if I type hi, the cow will say hi. Now this is the cache CTF challenge of Pico CTF. We need to find the flag from this website. So like any other CTF challenge, let's first check the source code. Okay, so with the source code, we do not find any information. What if I try to do a command injection? So in the URL with my message, what if I try to use a bash operator like a semicolon and type a Linux command like ls? Okay, so this got executed. This semicolon means run the first command and then run the second command. So in my terminal, if I type ls, I can see all the files and directory. But if I type ls, semicolon, ls, we get the file and the directory two times. So this command first ran and then this command ran. This is not the only operator. You can use operators like pipe2, which means to pass the output of the first command as the input of the second command. There are other operators too, like the and and sign, which means to run the first command. And if only if it is successful, run the second command. So we just used one of the operator here. Let's see if any other operator works. Let's see if the pipe operator works. Okay, so the pipe operator also works. Let's see if the end end operator works. So the end end operator also works. I can see all the files in the current directory. I can see there is a file called flag.txt. The spelling is wrong, but let's try to get it. And I can see we found the flag. You can search for command injection payload too. So if I type something like command injection payloads, I'll click on the first GitHub link. And in this GitHub page, if I scroll down, I can see all the payloads of command injection. So I use this and this, and there are a few others too, which you can use for a CTF challenge. And this is for Unix. If I scroll down, I can see the Windows version as well. So now that we have the flag, let's copy the flag, paste it and click on submit flag. And I can see we are correct. We are going over the medium challenges of Pico CTF. If you want to follow along, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.